Welcome back everybody to the Machine Learning Freelancer Tutorial Series. This is part six. In previous parts we talked about how to write your profile, how to get paid, how to avoid bad clients, and how to identify bad job listings. In today's video I'm going to tell you how to get your first job. Okay, so you're a brand new freelancer. You've never done work on Upwork before. You've just written your profile. You are ready to rock and roll, baby. You've got all kinds of value to offer. But you're in a sea of big fish, people charging $100 an hour with hundreds of hours of work experience and seemingly endless profiles, right? How do you compete with that? Well, you compete with it using your competitive advantage. And when you're brand new, what's your competitive advantage? You're cheap, right? When I started working, um, in particular, when I was doing content work, I worked for maybe three, four dollars an hour. Now, as a person in the United States, work for three dollars an hour, it's pretty tough psychologically. Now, you know, in some parts of the world, that's decent money. Here, it's uh, technically illegal to do, uh, right? I couldn't, I couldn't start a, a brick and mortar business and pay somebody three dollars an hour. But magically, because it's Upwork, uh, it's okay for me to work for three dollars an hour. But whatever. No big deal. I did it. I lived. And it's what I had to do, in fact. It's because I didn't have the uh, the track record of, you know, multiple five-star ratings. Now, um, you don't necessarily have to work for that little, but you are going to have to slightly undercut your competition. And when you apply for jobs, they give you a range of bids, whether it's fixed price or hour. They tell you kind of the range of bids. So you can go slightly below that. And... So trick number one is slightly undercut the other lowest bidders. You don't want to start a race to the bottom, um, and you don't want to bid zero. You could, if you really wanted to stand out, you could bid a really small amount. Um, but the trick here is going to be to slightly undercut and sell at a slightly lower price to compensate for the fact that you're unknown. The other thing you need to do is you need to acknowledge the fact that you're brand new, but talk about and lean on your past experience. You know, if you are coming from a job where you're working as a data scientist, you're not new, right? You have been doing it for however long you have expertise, and you should be paid for that. You just don't have the background. So uh, in that case, you may want to restructure the project slightly differently, where you do some work up front for cheap, so they know you're legit, and then you can uh, agree, get the client to agree you know, beforehand to uh, up the price on a later milestone or on a second job that they create. Um, the other thing you need to do is get people on the phone. Now, if you are in a uh, eastern country, if you're in India, Pakistan, you know, somewhere like that, then it may be a little bit difficult to schedule time with the client, uh, but you need to make that effort. Uh, and the reason is that, first of all, talking to the client assures them that you're real. It assures them that you are who you say you are and allows the client to get a feel for is this person honest, right? That's the most important thing to the client is can they trust you, right? They're coming to you because you're the expert. If they knew how to do this stuff, they'd be doing it themselves, right? So when they talk to you, they want to get the warm, fuzzy feeling that you know what you're talking about, you can execute on the contract, and that you're not lying to them. So it's very critical you get them on a call. Um, Upwork will try to dissuade you from using third-party platforms, but in my experience, their, their uh, video and voice calling features don't work very well. So use something like Skype or Appear.in. If you're not familiar with Appear.in, it is far superior to Skype. It's one of the best things I've found for talking to clients. Uh, you could try Google Hangouts. There's any number of ways to communicate with the client, but definitely get them on the phone. Give them warm, fuzzy feelings. Let them know you're an expert. Let them know you have experience. Uh, and when they make an objection, don't, don't run away from it. Run towards it. Say, oh, okay, I hear you have an objection, and here's why it's not really a problem. Right. The goal here, and this is really a sales technique, is to confront objections. Their objection is you don't have much experience, so how can they trust you? The way you confront that is by talking to them, letting them know you're legitimate and that you're a trustworthy person. Um, so step number one is uh, slightly underbid your competition. Step number two is make sure you get them on a call. And step number three is uh, when you get the job, if you do those two, uh, most of the time you're going to get the job. Uh, unless you're not a good fit or someone is a better fit and, and they just, you know, whatever. But once you get the job, make sure you over-deliver. Uh, whatever they ask for, do twice as much. If they if they want code as a deliverable, give them well-commented code with uh, great variable names. 
great documentation, give them a readme, make a video for them how to use it, do whatever it takes to go above and beyond and over what they expect, right? Over deliver. And then the other thing is to directly ask, hey, um, you know, the job is nearing its completion. Is there anything else I have to do to earn that five star review? Don't be afraid to ask. Let them know you want it. Let them know you want to make them happy. The client's going to like it. They're going to appreciate it. And if they have a problem, you're going to find out about it then. And you can deal with it then as opposed to after they leave a review. They only give you four stars and then you're off to a bad start. So those are my three tips. Basically, underbid, um, uh, get them on the phone to talk to them, let them know you're good, and then over out. Uh, and then over deliver once you get the job. I hope that's been helpful. Any tips that you have for getting your first job on Upwork, please leave them below. I'm sure people would love to hear it. Um, stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos. I want to thank you for your time, and I will see you all in the next video.